Hi dear friends welcome to top education in this session we will learn all children which is written by Kahal Gibran so guys let's know short and simple summary or the concept of this poem if you know the concept of the poem then it is easy to write in your own words so let's begin with it so guys this poem is only about the possessiveness or the caring nature of the parents which is very good and pretty nice we should love our parents by opening our heart and we have to respect them too so guys in this poem a lady who had born who have gave birth to a, ch a child and she goes to the prophet yes she goes to the prophet and ask the prophet please tell me about this children what he will do in his future what he will gain is is he if uh, is it he uh, gaining success or failure see me see me so this all words are told by that lady which have gave birth to the new born baby and what the prophet says here let's know and he said prophet your children are not your children yes they are your children but not your children they are the sons and daughters of life's longing of itself they are the sons and daughters of life longings they will move further and further and further they will not live with you they have to move alone they come through you but not from you they come through you means you give birth to the child but their soul and their thoughts are different from you and though they are with you yet they belong not to you and they are with you but they do not belong with you yes they do not belong with you you may give them your love but not your thoughts for a sweet example i can say here the parents put pressure on the children to take their career option to become doctor to become chartered accountant to become cs and all to accountant and all but what in this poem they have said you cannot give your thoughts you can love them but you cannot give your thoughts for they have their own thoughts because they have their own thinking process their caring process and all so don't be too possessiveness towards your children the prophet says for they their own thoughts you may house their bodies but not their souls you may give them a place where they live where they love but not to their soul because their soul is very very different from you all for the souls dwell in the house of tomorrows which you cannot visit not even in your dreams yes the prophet is saying you can give him place to live in your house you can care him you can do everything but what happens they dwell in the house of tomorrows they have to live in the house of tomorrows they have to work in the house of tomorrows which you cannot visit even in you cannot dream in your dreams you may strive to be like them but seek not to make them like you you may strive to be like them okay you can become like the child but you cannot put pressure on the children to become like parent the prophet says this also for life goes and backward not territories with yesterdays they have their own thinking process they have own feelings and everything so don't be so possessiveness towards your children the prophet says you are the bows from which your children as living arrows are sent further so you are the bow the bow 
and the arrow are the children the bow is parent and arrow is a children and who is the archer the archer is the prophet or maybe the god and what here does the archer is god the bow have to be stable enough have to be strong enough to make that arrow to go far and far and far and gain the success here far far refers to success 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 every parent want their child to become very successful in their life so they are to possessiveness so here prophet says you be stable enough to put them far away means to gain that success in their life so this was the poem of kahil kibran which is very very good i think yes guys it's too easy to understand and it's too good i like this poem and guys if you like our channel then please subscribe our channel top education yeah.